Acumatica Manufacturing Edition. Acumatica's Manufacturing Edition is comprised of two core modules, Bill of Materials and Production. The Bill of Materials acts as a basis for production, where we capture costs, materials, labor, and then we use that bill during the production cycle. We will cover both of these modules during today's demonstration. Acumatica also provides optional modules for our manufacturing edition. If your business requires material requirements planning, a product configurator that is both rules-based and includes a pricing roll-up, as well as an estimating module, we can provide that directly inside of Acumatica Cloud ERP. Additionally, we offer advanced planning and scheduling, which would provide finite capacity planning and scheduling, as well as shop floor data collection and project manufacturing. Pictured is a common Acumatica manufacturing workflow. You can see that in a make to order scenario, we might start with a sales order and move that into a production order. Of course, make to stock, we could simply start with a production order and we do support engineer to order, configure to order, job shop, repetitive batch and beyond. This visual also highlights how labor, purchasing and inventory are all integrated throughout the seamless manufacturing workflow, which we will take a look at together. Acumatica Cloud ERP provides dashboards and business intelligence for every department and role within the organization. This is an example of a manufacturing dashboard where I can keep my eye on things like production orders, top whip values, and assemblies that need to be built. Each one of these dashboard tiles allows me to drill down to receive information about that particular area. Let's start by taking a look at a bill of material. Here we are looking at a bill of materials in Acumatica. We are making a finished good, which happens to be a printed circuit board. Acumatica does support revisions as well as storing the revision history. We do also provide full engineering change control with an approval process if needed. In the center of the screen, we have the different operations or the routing that is required to make this finished good. In our example, we have an assembly and a final assembly that will be required. You can see each one of these operations takes place at a different work center or a cost center. At that work center, you can define a standard labor rate, set up machines, etc. At the bottom of my screen, I will start to capture the materials that are required to build this finished good. These materials could also be sub-assemblies with their own bills if needed. Beyond just the materials with their quantities and units of measure, we can start to inform the shop floor workers about the different steps that they need to perform at that operation. For example, for example, here we are instructing the shop floor employee to place the resistors as shown on a drawing. Documents can be stored and attached inside of Acumatica at both the line level and the document level. Tooling and overhead costs can be defined here on a bill of materials as well. I'm going to use this bill now to go out and create a production order. To do so, I'll enter my production orders workspace and create a new production order. On this production order, I'm going to enter the printed circuit board. We will make a simple quantity of one today. Acumatica can reference the timing entered for each operation on the bill of materials to come out with a start and end date for this order. And we can also use a fixed manufacturing lead time if you would prefer to enter one manually. On my event history tab, I will be able to see an audit trail of all of the information that has occurred against this production order in real time. For example, as my order moves from a planned status to a release status, in other words, we're done planning and we're ready for this to head to the shop floor, I will see that in real time a new line appears showing that status change. The totals tab on my production order gives me visibility into my job costs. On the left hand side, I can see everything that we planned on based on the bill of materials. How much labor, how much material, how much overhead costs will go into this particular order. As we go out and actually perform the work on the shop floor, we will start to see those costs appear in our actual column. We can collect shop floor data through scanning devices or by having your employees enter their time and material entries on the back end. We can also backflush labor and materials in Acumatica. On the right hand side, you will be able to measure your production variance for all of your orders along the way. At this point in the process, I can use Acumatica to look into my material availability. If I go to inquiries and critical materials, Acumatica will show me any materials that I need to purchase in order to accommodate this production order. I could also use the material requirements planning module to do just-in-time inventory purchasing and planning as well. Here we'll create a purchase order to fulfill the demand for this production. 
Here we have an example of an approval workflow in Acumatica. This particular environment has any purchase orders that come into the system requiring approval. I will go ahead and move this through an approval process today, and we can receive the purchase order in. Adding my vendor reference, I'll go ahead and release that purchase receipt. At this point in time, we know that we have all of the components available to make this production order. I'm going to release material. Acumatica recognizes which materials are on your bill, and we can automatically drop that into this material transaction screen for you. If you happen to be back flushing your materials instead, this particular step could be skipped. As I release the material transaction, I'll also call your attention that Acumatica does support lot and serial numbers cradle to grave. Back on my production order, I'm going to see that we have captured the material transaction, as well as started to capture some totals for our material costs. We also see that the status of our production order has been moved to in process. To complete this order, I can have my employees go in and enter their timesheets or scan to clock in and clock out from a scanning device, or I might choose to back flush my labor in Acumatica. You can either create a labor transaction which acts as a timesheet, or you can do this move transaction to flush those costs. A move transaction says we have completed one operation and we are moving on to the next. So in our example, if we are to complete or move out of this final operation, that will indicate to Acumatica that our work here has been completed since the total quantity on the job and the final operation have been performed. As I release that move transaction, we will see that the status of this production order has now changed to completed. The finished good is now available to sell. Finally, I'd like to spend a moment taking a look at Acumatica Material Requirements Planning, or MRP. On this MRP display screen, we are seeing Acumatica calculating all of the different action dates where we think you need to take action in order to meet your demand just in time. Acumatica MRP is looking at manufacturing lead times, vendor lead times, sales forecasts, reorder points, safety stock, and the result is this screen that we're seeing here. If we want to read this top line, for example, we know that for production order number 15, there is a circuit board component that is going to need to be purchased. We'll need to take action by the 21st if we would like to have it for the promised date of the 12th. From this screen, I can now create a purchase order directly. Transform your manufacturing business with Acumatica Cloud ERP. Allow your teams to collaborate across departments through a single source of truth. Access real-time business intelligence and data analytics to make instant business decisions about inventory, shop floor, and beyond. Reduce your costs through tighter operational and administrative management. Increase productivity by allowing easier access to critical information. Automate mundane, manual, or disconnected tasks and even take advantage of our mobile application to perform work in the field as needed. Thank you for joining me today for this high-level overview of Acumatica Manufacturing Edition. For more information, a tailored demo, or to learn more about our optional manufacturing modules, please contact your local Acumatica reseller or visit us at www.acumatica.com.